another month, another set of core web vitals data for us to look at. Google released their updated Crux dataset. When combined with HTTP archive, it allows us to look at performance of different CMS platforms across the web. What we're going to do today is look at, one, how those CMS platforms continue to evolve and continue to uh, enhance their uh, core web vital support. Uh, and two, we're going to dig in on the individual metrics, kind of speculate and maybe talk through how some of the different platforms perform and maybe why they perform uh, in different ways. So looking at this month's data, across the board of, all, of percentage of sites passing core web vitals, you'll see that kind of three distinct groups starting to form. You'll see right at the top, you see Duda really taking a big leap out front, nearly 55% of sites passing core web vitals. Uh, Webflow also coming up strong with over 40% of their sites passing core web vitals as well. You'll see in the middle, there's a group of Shopify and Wix with about 30% of their sites passing core web vitals. I know this is a focus of both of those platforms, so I expect those to go up over time. And rounding out the bottom there, you have uh, Squarespace and WordPress uh, kind of staying, you know, they're moving up, but they're not moving up fast enough uh, as compared to the other platforms. So it'll be interesting to see how these evolve in the coming few months. Let's dig into the actual individual metrics and see how each platform does uh, independently. The first one we're gonna look at is LCP. As a reminder, LCP stands for Largest Contentful Paint. It's what is the biggest thing to load on the page? How long does that take? And so if we look, you'll see that Duda is really jumping out ahead. Uh, over 70% of our sites are passing these core web, sorry, the LCP metric which is great. What that means is Duda is doing a really good job of prioritizing the above the fold content. That means things like images or text, uh, whatever it might be, we're prioritizing that experience. You'll see the second is actually Shopify. Shopify is doing a really good job with this LCP and delivering content quickly. Uh, the same comes with Webflow as well. All three of these platforms are doing an excellent job. I think mostly this is, comes from the either global nature or use or good use of CDNs across the board really pushes that up to enable that really fast first load experience. You'll see across the bottom here, you have Wix, uh, WordPress, and also uh, Squarespace rounding up the bottom with about 30%, 25% of their sites passing these core web vitals, uh, passing, sorry, the largest contentful paint metric. These guys really need to pick up the pace and, and do a little bit better here. The next metric we're going to look at is FID. FID stands for first input delay. Uh, it's kind of how long does it take for the screen to respond the first time I touch it. Uh, if you look here, two interesting things I'll highlight. One is looking back, you actually see Wix did not historically do well on this metric. A year ago, they were in the 50% of their sites passing. Uh, and now they're up in that top range. What Wix has probably done, and I'm speculating here, I don't actually know, but they've probably found ways to execute their JavaScript more efficiently. What that means is it's not intertwined with the load of the page. They're using things like request animation frame to delay actions and delay inputs to really optimize the loading experience of their JavaScript and extra code on the site. So you see now everyone's up in that top 95 and above range. Another, the second point I'll make on this is you do see a little bit of a drop from Duda, and a little bit of a drop from Wix. Duda's at 95, Wix is 94. And hey, I'm speculating here, I'm just gonna say that that's because they do still have you know a good amount of JavaScript that loads uh, when the page loads. Platforms like WordPress uh, and Webflow have a little bit less, they're a little more kind of HTML and markup focused rather than um, focused using JavaScript to really load and render a lot of the page. Uh, the final metric is CLS. CLS stands for Content Layout Shift. It's basically kind of trying to measure uh, how frequently things move around on the page after they've already loaded once. So you'll see across the top there, both Webflow and Wix are doing a really strong job with this. Wix uses a technology called Absolute Positioning, basically saying where I put an element on the page, it's exactly that. It's going to be this height and this width. That really prevents a lot of CLS. That's why they've done well and you know historically and they're, they continue to do well uh, across across all their sites. Uh, Webflow uh, is pretty similar. A lot of their technology is, is very structured and how it sets the height. Then you see the second group kind of down below there, um, Duda, WordPress, Squarespace, and Shopify kind of rounding out that 50 uh, percentile range of sites passing 
uh, CLS. They're, they're good scores, but they're not great. These platforms need to pick up the pace. I can tell you Duda, we're continuing to invest in this. I expect this to go up, um, you know, several percentage points over the next few months as we continue to improve a lot of things across the platform. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for listening. Hope everyone has an awesome day.